Hello everyone, another story for this week that I've posted on your ideas of things that you may want to do. Um, and this is called Ben Plants a Butterfly Garden. It is written by Kate Petty and uh, the illustrations are by Axel Scheffler. You may recognise the drawings because he has done all of Junior Donaldson's books. So you may recognise the style. All right. Everything was neat and tidy in Ben's garden, except for one sunny corner. Hmm, how can I make this corner pretty? said Ben. I've got an idea. We'll help you. You can grow some flowers, said Worm. And you can grow some butterflies too said Ladybird. Oh, I like butterflies and I like flowers, said Ben. I'll begin by clearing the nettles. Oh, leave some of the nettles, said Worm. Your butterflies will be born here. Look under this nettle leaf, said Ladybird. Look, and please, he's got his gloves on because nettles are very stingy. Ben looked and saw some tiny, tiny eggs there. Hmm, these don't look like butterflies to me, he said. The eggs are butterfly eggs. Don't worry, said Ladybird. They will turn into beautiful butterflies. Now, you must plant some flowers that the butterflies would like, said Worm. Ben bought some special seeds so that he could have a butterfly garden of his very own. He dug a flower bed and raked it. He planted the seeds and gave them some water. Shall we see what happens underneath the ground? Let's have a look. Ben has planted the seeds and covered them with soil. Mm -hmm. About one week later, Ben saw the first little shoot sticking up through the earth. My flowers are growing, he said. But what about my butterflies? A little shoot is growing up. A little root is growing down. Little shoot, little root. Ben looked, went to look at the eggs on the nettle, but instead of eggs... He found lots of small, hungry caterpillars. The caterpillars have hatched out of the eggs. These caterpillars eat nettles. That's why their mother laid her eggs there. These don't look like butterflies to me, said Ben. Trust me, said Ladybird. They will turn into butterflies. But first they have to eat the leaves to grow into big caterpillars. The caterpillars ate the leaves and they grew bigger and fatter and bigger and fatter. Whenever the caterpillar's skin gets too tight, it falls off and there's a new skin underneath. Look at that. <laughs> Can you think if we did that with our clothes? <laughs> the day were hot and long. The flowers in, ben gardens, in Ben's garden started to bloom. Lots of bees came to visit them, but there were no butterflies. And the cat, all the caterpillars had disappeared. I like those greedy little caterpillars, said Ben. Where have they gone? Come and look behind his leaves, says Ladybird. We're, you're going to have your, ver, but your butterflies very soon. This doesn't look like a butterfly to me, said Ben. It's called a chrysalis, said Ladybird. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar is turning into a butterfly. When the caterpillar is fully grown, it spins a thread to attach itself to a twig. Then it loses its skin for the last time. Underneath, there is a hard case called a chrysalis. Ben watched the chrysalis carefully. A few weeks later, the case split open and a new butterfly came out. 
At last, when it had dried out in the sun, the butterfly was ready to fly off straight to its favourite flowers. And before Ben knew it, lots of butterflies were flying in his garden. The flowers give the butterflies their food. Butterflies suck the nectar from the middle of the flowers. <gasps> These do look like butterflies, said Ben. And they like the flowers in my special garden. Look at this pop-up. I hope you really enjoy this story. You may have noticed something. In this book, they're talking about a chrysalis, that the butterfly, the caterpillar, makes itself a chrysalis. When in our Hungry Caterpillar book, they were talking about a cocoon. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? If you want to research more about this, maybe look for the difference in between a moth and a butterfly. They look very much the same, although one hasn't got a lot of colour and the other one is very colourful. One has got a big body when the other one has a slim body. And one makes a cocoon for themselves, they spin a cocoon for themselves. And the other build themselves a chrysalis. You may want to know more. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Bye!